Hi planners, thanks so much for tuning in to my YouTube channel. It's me, Chloe from Chloe True Plans. And in this video, I'm going to be planning in my Erin Condren A5 Daily Duo for the month of October. So let's not waste any time and get right into this video. If you are a new viewer, welcome to my channel. If you're a True Blue subscriber, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, go ahead and drop that blue heart in the comments to let me know that you are back to watch another video. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so with the little button in the bottom right corner of this video. So getting into it, I have my planning pack here. We're gonna jump right in. And of course I have my in bloom design. Y'all know that I love a good in bloom or floral spread in general. So I have some fall florals here that I will be using in my planner and then I have my actual planner and the first thing I'm going to do with my planner today is change the cover I have this beautiful fall um, cover here and since it is officially fall I'm going to go ahead and switch it up because why not right I'm so glad that Erin Condren has more fall covers because I've been really wanting some and I've also been really wanting an A5 cover so this is great Want to make sure I'm on the right side of things and I'm going to go ahead and add this cover. All right, now I have my cover on. As always, for your convenience, I will be linking any items that I use in this video in the comments below. Um, I have seen you all ask about certain items and sometimes they're out of stock. So if you ask about an item and I say it's no longer available, I'm sorry, but this one is available. Um, it's just really interesting to me how sometimes, you know, you all watch videos like a year later and you're like, Chloe, I need that item. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, because I've been there as a YouTuber and someone who watches YouTube videos myself. Like, I know that amount of devastation. So just know that when you ask me about a link, I do my best to find the product. But if I can't find it, then I'll let you know that. Um, but I do try really hard to find them. So today I'm going to be doing my monthly view and my daily duo. And honestly, I did better in the month of September than I have before. Um, this is my month of September and this is August. And as you can see, I put absolutely nothing in my month of August. I do think I'm going to go ahead and do a little back planning um, at some point, but I put nothing in the month of August. And then in the month of July, I did okay. But I'm really trying to like catch up and do better for the month of October. So I have my October spread here and I'm going to use my stickers from according to Allie here. I have a fall floral sheet and a fall quote sheet. Both links to these are in my description below. And of course, if you use my code, you can save some money. So check that out. And then I have my scissors here from Erin Condren. And I also have some pens that I'm working with today. So I'm really going to try to work this out. Um, I have a highlighter too and figure out the best way to do this. So first of all, it did kind of throw me off a little bit that these flowers are blue. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm not going to try to cover them up. I figured it would be easier to just kind of like mend these flowers in with it and coordinate and make it work so i have my scissors here and i'm just going to pull the flowers off the page now they, these are clear they're transparent so you got to be careful when peeling them but i'm just gonna you know cut these up a little bit and try to add them where it i think it makes sense and cut them where i think it makes sense so you know i'm gonna add them here and i feel like as long as i kind of space them well i can do both you know the blue and the orange and really make it work so sometimes when i'm filming it's hard for me to see where the camera is so you'll see me like turn the planner upside down um but i just felt like you know these florals would blend right in with the florals that are already in the planner and y'all know i really try my best not to do so many florals but it's hard i have noticed though that a lot of sticker companies are now doing more stickers that are not words and i have no beef with words like i like the words that come with the planner but i feel like sometimes it's kind of important to have non-word stickers and in the past the best option for that have been florals well i'm starting to see that more and more planner companies or sticker companies have been doing more non-word stickers. So 
there have been more items like cheetah print, animal print, different shapes. So that's been really helpful. And so now that I'm seeing that, I've been a little bit more like encouraged to try to, you know, try different types of shapes and things like that in my planner. So I have been purchasing different kinds of stickers and I will be sharing that with you on my channel. But let me know in the comments what your favorite kind of shape or item is to put in your planner when it comes to your planner spreads. Do you prefer to just leave it as is? If you're a sticker person, I'm really talking to sticker people here because, you know, um, I just kind of want to know like what kind of stickers do you go for in your planner? have the florals on I am going to show you how they look how pretty are these florals I mean I think they turned out really really well I like how it went with the blue I don't feel like the blue threw it off too much and I think it just kind of blends right in so I have my planner Kate sticker set here and so I got this for April and October so as you can see it matches October perfectly and so that is what I really love about planner Kate stickers is that she is able to match up the colors with some of the themes that come with the Erin Condren planners and so I'm, I'm really excited about using these so I'm gonna go ahead and put down a few on some important dates and some dates that I feel like you know I should mark in my planner um so now I'm just putting them down I love that these fit perfectly in the boxes this month I really do want to document a lot and also just make some goals for myself um and I do want to use this for that since this is kind of my catch-all planner so I'm going to go ahead and put some of these down and honestly I see a lot of creators um writing on the stickers first and that is actually easier so if you are doing this at home you can totally write on the sticker first i'm going to go ahead and grab my markers and grab the color i want i just want the black one so when you write on the paper first of course it's easier because you can just write right there on the sticker and then transfer it. My biggest challenge with planning really has been making sure that I have enough space for work and personal things on this calendar because this calendar is kind of my catch-all. So I do kind of want to put some work things even though of course I have Outlook. When I look at this, it just helps me to kind of like set my mind um, on the things that I have up ahead. So. I'm gonna put a W when it's something for work just to kind of let me know um, that I have something for work going on. And so not only do I do a newsletter for Cloetry Plans, but then I also have a work newsletter, so it's just a whole thing. Um, and then Cloetry Plans is just CP. And this month or for October, I really wanna do the journaling challenge again. So if you all enjoyed the journaling challenge, it is coming back, you know? So I'm excited about that. I personally find it really challenging when the fall comes for me to stay motivated because in Chicago, it can get pretty cold in fall. Um, I remember one year, the temperatures were pretty, pretty low um, in, in November. So when you think about it, like almost being October and then there being really low temps in November, that is scary for me. I just don't feel my best overall in cold weather. So I'm trying this year to make the most out of it and really like focus on my mental and physical health throughout the winter so I can really, you know, try to avoid <laughs> those negative feelings. Um, so I'm trying to get ahead of it, you know, I'm trying to get ahead of it, but that is something that I find really challenging. So I did say that I wanted to create some goals for myself. So I'm just gonna write some of those goals here on this margin. And so I'm just gonna write goals here, just like that. And 
just what some of my goals are. So working out three times per week. Going on some kind of walk daily because it's still cool enough or warm enough, I should say, to go on a walk. So that's something I want to keep in the forefront. Um, and then another goal I have for myself, and this is going to be a challenge, but I definitely think I can do it, is no eating out except for engagements or events. So um, I guess like no eating out when I don't have anything planned. So it's okay for me to eat out if I have a dinner date planned or a date night or an event with friends that I'm going to, but it's not okay for me to eat out just on a whim, which will help me to really stick to some of my goals. I guess I'll just put <laughs> no fast food this month. And I really do think I can stick to it. I don't think it's gonna be that hard. And I think that I will save some money, of course, and really just, you know, tap more into, you know, what do I have a craving for really? Buy those healthier snacks and get into that. So that's that's my goal for the month. Um, work out three times each week, daily walk. I really enjoy my daily walk, so I don't think that'll be a big challenge. No fast food this month. And then um, photo shoot. So I really wanna take some photos for my dream plan hustle t-shirts um and merch in general because i do have some other merch too and so i'm gonna put photo shoot dph right and then i'm gonna put the day that i think the photo shoot is it's supposed to be on the first um i have not confirmed it with <laughs> with my friend who helps me and who we, we create content together i haven't confirmed it with her but that's the tentative date and if it changes of course i can just get rid of that sticker so no worries um and then when it comes to the the other days of the month i don't have anything like planned way in advance um i do think i'm gonna go ahead and plan some type of dinner date with my mom um on the 15th so let me um put that in there because you know gotta spend time with mom And now is the fun part, okay? This is my favorite part of planning is putting different stickers to coordinate with what I have going on. So hopefully I'll be able to fit it in here. Um, but this is kind of like my favorite part. Let me put this first. Oh, and I do need to also add <laughs> I need to pay some bills and I have a separate bill chart um, to, to fill that out this this is just not big enough for all the bills and responsibilities car notes car insurance health insurance like this is just not enough space for that kind of situation um, and furthermore I don't like to put that kind of thing here on social media I like to keep it in the tuck because Typically when I'm going over the bills, um, I'm doing it with my husband and it's just like, it's a private conversation, obviously, like anybody else having most, most financial conversations. So yeah. Also, if you all hear anything in the background, it is my husband cooking and he's in the next room. He doesn't realize how loud he is, but he's making a lot of noise. So if you hear just a little bit of rumbling, that is him in the kitchen cooking and he does not understand how loud he can be, but hopefully you can hear it. Let me know in the comments if you can hear stuff in the background. Um, because I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments if you can hear stuff in the background. That is him making all that noise. I do have some stickers for Mr. and Mrs. Mint that I'm using. So like, look at that little journal. How cute is that? Being able to put the little journal on there. Um, I have some other stickers here that I'm gonna use as well. I do have a 30 day journaling challenge here. Sticker from Elisa Ravel. So I'm actually gonna use both. I'm going to take this let's see if it works i think it might not that's okay i'm gonna move this sticker somewhere else because i really can have both um so i'm gonna put this one here and i'm gonna move this other one to a different page in my planner 
and then put this one back. I had it. There we go. It's just so cute when you have a coordinating sticker. <laughs> I love it. And then every month on the 25th is when <laughs> I can make my hair appointment for the following month. So I'm going to put that here. And add it to the 25th. And then add this little bun bun character here from Mr. and Mrs. Mint. How cute is that? And then now I'm going to really get into, I think we have a workout sticker somewhere. And this is the part of planning where I think a lot of people end up not using their stickers because they don't feel like looking through the stickers that they have. Um, and I get that 100%. But this is part of the fun for me. I do have my stickers organized. So if you want to see my sticker organization, I do have a video on that. But I think it's really fun to, to just have your stickers out and to really plan and pull out which ones coordinate with which tasks. That's part of the fun for me, for sure. So if that is not you, I totally get it. But I do challenge you to, if you have the stickers, to use them. Um, that's my, that's my, my challenge to you. Another goal I have for this month is recording my podcast. So I am going to go ahead and put record pod because I want it to be something I do weekly. So I am aiming at every Wednesday for recording. And it is Coffee with Chloe Tree. So if you enjoy my Coffee with Chloe Tree here on YouTube, then check out my podcast, The Coffee with Chloe Tree here on YouTube. I am still trying to figure out if I'm going to continue it here or if I'm going to take it to Patreon. I am not 100% sold on the idea just yet, but podcasting is a little bit easier than, for me than, um, you know, having to show my face every single week. So I'm able to be a little bit more consistent. So check out my podcast. It is in the comments or description below. I'll put it in the comments too, but check it out because I am going to have a podcast. So I think you would like it. I did. I do have the first episode recorded and the second one is coming really soon. So I have that all squared away. I think this is a good spread. I feel like I have most things in here, everything I could remember at least. And I can always, of course, add more to it later, but I feel like I have a really good um, handle on things. Oh, I do have a HelloFresh delivery every Sunday. Um, so I'm gonna just put HF delivery, just to remind me to like make sure I'm around to pull it into the house on Sunday. And if I'm not to ask a neighbor to pull it into the building. So definitely want to do that and so I have that for Sundays and I do love that this this marker I'm using does not smear I love that and this is from Erin Condren comes in a set but I'm hoping that they eventually just do it where I can order the black one because it's actually really nice and it's thinner than the other fine tip markers that Erin Condren has so looking forward to it hope they have more and we're just gonna act like you all did not see me put the same sticker in the same spot because don't know where my mind was for that <laughs> But I definitely put it in the wrong area. All right. So now we have a nice spread here with all the things for the month of October. Let me know if you have anything fun planned for the month of October. I'm actually trying to add some things. I do have a coffee date with a friend. I have date with my mom. That I'm going to try to plan and then I also need to plan a date night with my husband so we're gonna figure that out um I'm hoping that I can get that on here after I talk to him about it but 
I am looking forward to this month and I think there are going to be some fun things coming up. Let me know in the comments again if you have anything fun planned. I like a good bonfire, so maybe we can catch one of those. Um, but let me know how you feel about the fall. For me, again, I like the fall. I have no issue with the fall, but it does mean that there are going to be some seriously cold temps. Here in Chicago, we only get a couple days of like that 60 degree weather and then it gets to be like pretty cold. So <laughs> I am not 100% looking forward to it, but I like fall themes. And so when it comes to like, you know, stickers and things, I'm obsessed. I love the idea of fall, but like the re my reality of fall is that it's really cold. You know, I love the pumpkin spice. I love all that. But my reality is that, you know, we have a couple nice days of like good fall weather and then it gets kind of cold. So let me know in the comments if you're excited about fall, if you have any fall fun things coming up, and I will respond to you. Again, everything I use in the video, I will do my best to link it in the description. And make sure you follow me on Instagram at Cloetry Plans. I will see you all in the next video.